Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a quick and fun way to do what I call color on color or magic colors. The kids just love this and they think it's magic. Um, I don't think there's a real name for it, so that's just what I call it. And this is an example from my compound words flip chart. You can also use it with mathematical equations or parts of speech. Here I used it with compound words. And as you can see, the first word, summer, time, when we put them together, we get the compound word summertime. Pop, corn, popcorn. Dragon, fly, dragonfly. And basically, when we move dragon over here, it's the same color as this column, so we can't see it. And when we move fly over here, it's the same as yellow, so we can't see it. And when we drag it into the red, we can see both of the colors. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make this. Even if you're a beginner, this is very easy to do. So I'm going to go to a new flip chart page. You can also click Control i And I'm going to go to my Shapes tool. I'm going to have a black outline. I'm going to have a green fill. Okay. I'm just going to fill my whole page, make a rectangle about the size of my whole page. And I'm going to get my other columns. So I'm going to do a black outline and a yellow column in the center. And then we're going to have a black outline with a blue fill. Okay. So we have three different columns. I'm just going to kind of move these and shape them so they look fairly even to me. And now we can type our words. So I'm going to type my word first in black. You do not have to do this, but I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off in black. And I'm going to make this quite a bit larger here using my star tool. So I have popcorn. So I need my pop to be this color yellow. So I'm going to highlight just pop, go to my text color, eyedropper, click yellow. And the reason I'm using my eyedropper because I want it to be this exact yellow. Corn, I'm just going to highlight corn, text color, eyedropper, click green. Okay, so now we have pop corn, popcorn. So now I'm going to click this, click copy, and then V to paste. And then this way I can type a whole another word. I can go to black just so I can see it. And I'm going to do butterfly. Okay, extend that out. So I'm going to do butter in yellow, eyedropper. And then I'm going to do fly in my green, text color, eyedropper green. And now I have a butterfly complete. So we have popcorn, popcorn, and we have butterfly, butterfly. We can also set these on a restrictor so they don't move all over the page like they are now. And to do that, I can hit Control B or View Browsers, and I can go to my Property Browser here, which is the fifth icon over from the left, and I'm going to move my Recording Tool down. And down here, I'll see restrictors. I'm going to open that up, and I'm just going to work with this area right here. So I have my popcorn selected, and it says can move freely. That means, again, it can move all over the page. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to make that move horizontally. And I'm going to click the item again. Okay. Now, no matter what I do, it can't move any other way except horizontal. So I'm going to click butter freely butterfly, click horizontal, and I'm going to click that again. So it will only move horizontal. So that way you can keep them nice and organized and the kids won't be dragging them all over the page. So I hope that um, is a nice, quick, and easy tutorial for you that you'll be able to add to your flip chart lessons to make your um, Promethean Active Board more interactive for your students. Enjoy!